hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on my channel thank you so much for tuning in today we are saying goodbye to this precious little girl she is a twin a kit by bonnie brown she is a custom baby and we are going to dress her for her journey home and we're going to pack her up in her traveling box so let's go ahead and get started so for those of you that are not familiar with this kit, this kit is a newborn size baby and this specific baby ended up weighing approximately six pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on a size one honest diaper on this baby and this is my absolute favorite design. It probably has to do with the fact that it's new, but I also love the vegetables on there. It's just so adorable. So I do like to always use size one for my newborn babies I like how it fits not too big and not too small now because of her skin tone I decided to send her home in something white white definitely makes her color pop so I am addressing her with the most beautiful beautiful sleeping um, sleeper I should say not sleeping sleeper but you guys know what I mean um, it has rainbows on it and clouds here we are um, and there's a hot air balloon and I absolutely love this sleeper against her complexion um, I had originally purchased something more dark for her but after I got home and I put it next to her skin um, I did not like the way that it looked I then I went ahead and picked out this white sleeper that you guys see me putting on her and I absolutely adore the way she looks in it so I decided to um, go ahead and use this as a going home outfit I hope some of you guys can see how this white color against her skin tone just makes her skin tone come to life. This is why I decided to use a white sleeper on her. Oh my goodness, she's so precious, you guys. One of the things that I love about newborn size clothing are these built-in hand covers. I only notice it on newborn size clothing. I could be incorrect, but I have checked and I only see it on long sleeve newborn size clothing. And I absolutely love to use the hand covers on my babies because I feel like it gives the doll that extra, extra baby look, that real effect that we all love. So I'm going to go ahead and brush her hair now and I'm going to get her ready for packaging. If you are curious to know what kind of hair I used to root this baby, I used a chocolate brown from Slumberland Nursery. Ah, yes, I almost forgot to share with you guys what I am sending her home in. So besides the sleeper that she's wearing, I'm also sending her home in this or with this three-piece outfit from Carter's. It's absolutely adorable. She will be living in the state of Hawaii. So I thought that this kind of wardrobe is absolutely perfect for that kind of weather so that is why i picked this one out so i'm gonna go ahead and package it for you guys and then i'll go ahead and share with you the other outfit that i'm sending her home with
So here's the other outfit she is going home with. It is a two-piece outfit from Carter's, and I love how summery it looks. It definitely gives me that Hawaiian feel. Um, so beautiful, and I love the colors, and I definitely feel like this is going to make her skin look very vibrant and alive. I am also sending a few honest diapers with this baby. These are my favorite diapers of the moment. So of course I have to send a few of them with this little girl. Since she has an open mouth, I am sending her with this pacifier here. I currently do not remember the name of the brand, but I did purchase this at Baby R Us, and I love the soft pink color, and I feel like it fits her mouth just so perfectly. She's not magnetic for the full purpose because she has an open mouth, and it would be quite difficult to make her magnetic. So here is her certificate of authenticity. This certifies that I created, painted, and rooted this baby, and I am also sending the original certificate of authenticity that her doll kit comes to me with and here it is this is a twin a coa made by bonnie brown sent out with all of the kids and here's this gold heart that i put there to say that i i created this doll kit this specific doll kit so anyway we're gonna go ahead and package up her hair make sure that it arrives very nicely to her mommy not a crazy crazy not crazy messy hair so we want her to get there with a nice pretty little head of hair so as you can see there's a lot of tissue paper involved in this process um, I've been packaging my babies this way for quite some time I don't know if it's unnecessary but I definitely feel like this is a much safer way of packaging the reborn dolls and putting a diaper over the head I know a lot of people like to do that but personally I prefer using the tissue paper and a little bit of plastic over the eyes to protect the eyelashes and then I bubble everything up um, as you guys are seeing right now to protect the head and the doll in general so this is how I have been packaging my dolls for quite some time as I stated before and so far nobody has complained that or no one has said if it's a good way either but it has been working out and this is why I, I package my dolls this way So here is that piece of plastic that I was telling you guys and it's just a Ziploc bag. I cut off the top part of the bag and I'm just taping up the the plastic on top of that little hole so nothing gets in there nothing messes with the lashes you know and by something I mean the blanket the blanket not rubbing on the eyelashes or the face so it's just extra protection so this is the blanket that I'm sending her home with um, I absolutely love it I buy most of my blankets at Ross or Burlington Coat Factory and I absolutely love them so I saw this one and I thought of the twin a and I thought it would just go so perfectly with her so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and finish bundling her up and we are going to use more bubble wrap to ensure that this baby girl arrives home safely
and here we are we're going to add more bubble wrap and now it's bubble wrapped for the complete doll this is to make sure that she arrives there safely that she's not bouncing around everywhere inside of the box we're protecting her blanket and we're protecting her essentially Now this sweet girl is ready to go inside of her box and we are going to place her in there and as you can see she fits quite perfectly but there's still a lot of space above her so I'm going to place this tissue paper a complete layer of this tissue paper and on top of that I will be placing all of her goodies. To top all that off, I am adding a whole nother layer of tissue paper followed by the COAs. Then I'm going to sprinkle my love by adding some little glittery hearts on top of that. But there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. And of course, don't forget to leave me some love in the comment section below. I'll talk to all of you soon. Bye.